This is not the 1960s. No. This is bigger. It's better. It is more energized. Three weeks ago today, a couple of hundred teaching assistants at the University of Wisconsin gathered at the steps of the Memorial Union. A few days later, Madison teachers suddenly caught a cold and look at us in those three days teamsters and teachers nurses police and firefighters retired operating engineers and students came together bigger and better than we did in 10 years, just in three days, Governor That's Walker. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are held together by two shared values, fairness and trust. When, when the reporters came into Madison and they spoke about the atmosphere, the joy, it was the joy as you looked at one another who you'd never seen before and you knew the person next to you was someone you trusted. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Governor Walker, join us and trust. Yeah. Look, look at what we've already accomplished. State after state that was considering similar legislation they're done. They've stopped. Something I learned about working people. Working people make a living to put food on the table, pay the bills, take care of their children. But they do great work because they want to be part of a team. And that's what public unions are all about. It's about being part of a team that does a great job. And when Governor Walker talks about pensions and health care, he never talks in comparing to salaries. And there's a reason he doesn't talk about comparing to salaries. Because for years, Wisconsin public employees took what little money was available in their health insurance and in their pension. And what Governor Walker does not want you to know is this. Here in Wisconsin, if you take the cost of all of our public employees at the state level, at the local level, the schools, the counties, the school districts, and you compare what all of Wisconsin pays for those salaries, we cost $1.1 billion less than the national average. Those are productive, dedicated employees of the people of the state. They're not your employees, Governor Walker. They belong to the people and don't break them. Because we, we will win. and Paul Soglin. They are two great guys. So let's give them another round of applause. Thank you.